so if you guys see this video if you guys see this video that means everything went well baby is safe and great and doing okay um today was my cvs test so we just went through the whole thing i'll talk about it more in the car but i just wanted to film while i was in here and i'll talk to you guys later so i'm actually craving mcdonald's let me fix my lighting there we go i'm actually craving mcdonald's hash browns and my appointment i got here at 8 50 and i'm just now leaving at 11. hopefully i can talk to you guys what happened throughout this appointment as i drive to mcdonald's because i really want hash browns and they stopped serving hash browns and breakfast stuff so anyway um I think they stopped serving breakfast in hash browns at, at 11 when I checked so I don't know if I'm still gonna have be able to get my hash browns that I really want to eat right now but we'll see we'll try we'll try and it's still freezing in Columbus or I've been so cold this whole pregnancy I have been so cold like I just be freezing uh, I can't warm up to save my life so I like this hospital because when you come they pay for your parking so that's amazing let me see So they pay for your parking, so that's amazing. Oh my god. So I don't know if I should talk while driving, but my CVS took an unexpected turn. Um, the doctor came in. So this CVS procedure, I don't think I talked about this the first time I you know made a video about it. You know, now that my memory is fresh and raw, I decided to talk about it. Um, you know, right after the procedure, just so that I can tell, you know, whoever is going to get it done, what to expect. So what to expect for a CVS procedure? This procedure, you're going to need a full bladder. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if for the procedure, what hurts more. If it's the full bladder or the speculum which is a huge thingy that they shove in there and pry open your cervix so that they can have access to the placenta. Because this chorionic villi sampling, if you don't know what it is, in short, it's called CVS. But if you don't know what it is, it's a genetic testing that is done on a pregnancy that is 10 weeks old and above to check for genetic defects. Um, in my case, we are checking for the sickle cell trait because hubby and I are both sickle cell carriers. My first son is only a carrier as well. So we're just checking out for the 25% chance of getting a sickle cell, you know, 2SS carrier baby. And then, you know, we'll go from there with the decisions that we have to make if that, have a, if that happens. But God forbid it does. But, anywho, so my test today, I just want to describe how the test went. Today was unusual. The test was actually unusual um, compared to the first time that I got it done. Um, the doctor went in there, put the speculum in. You know, while he's putting the speculum in, and a nurse is on my stomach with the ultrasound thing and she is moving the ultrasound like the little thing on the stomach she's moving it around so the doctor can see what he's doing it's like a camera so she's moving it around so that the doctor can see where to shove the catheter into the cervix and then into the placenta and then pull up some cells from there that he can send to the lab and then they can do the test so that's what happened today so when he got it done the first time you know he pulled up some specimens and then he told me to sit tight right there you know with the speculum in there and then he went to the to the lab or somewhere 
and he put it under a microscope or whatever he went to go take a good look at it so that um, he can make sure that he got a good good specimen or a good sample um, and he came back and said um, the specimen that he collected is a little too dark um, he was actually worried that maybe I was bleeding or something but he said there is no bleed going on but the specimen is too dark he's gonna have to put it on a petri dish and then see if the specimen is good enough so he came and took out the speculum and then went back put it on petri dish and came back and said he doesn't think he doesn't feel like he has enough uh sample and so mcdonald's doesn't have a drive through oh it does so he came back and said the specimen or the sample is not enough so he's gonna have to redo the procedure so i mean i was okay with it my mind is okay with it because you know i'm like just get this thing done i really just want to get this thing done so he goes back in there put the speculum in pry it open apparently my cervix is not straight up like that my cervix is like doing something like this that's my that's how i understood it but he's he put in after prying it open he grabbed another scissors to like pull it straight so that his catheter can go inside and dig up more sample so we did that a second time it hurt a little bit the second a little bit more the second time because of that extra scissors that had to go in there and dig it up and straighten out my cervix and so that was not fun at all but you know the second time he came back and told me you know everything looks good and everything is fine oh they don't have the breakfast schedule anymore what am i gonna get now i'm just gonna get a i'm just gonna get a a fry i really wanted i really wanted tater tots not tater tots hash browns interested in McDonald's fries. You know what? I should go to Sonic. I saw Sonic in the back. Oh, you guys. The way I've been eating since I got pregnant, it's been terrible. I've just been the worst feeding person. All I want to eat is junk food. And that's not good for me or the baby. But here we are. I want to go to Sonic because I'm not trying to have McDonald's freaking chicken sandwich. But anyway, let me just finish what I was saying. So he had to go back in there a second time and do a second sample. And then he came back and told me everything was fine. Everything looks good. He said I might bleed a little bit more just because we had to go in twice. He also said um, there is no risk, like there's no higher risk of a miscarriage um doing it twice at the same time you know the risk of this procedure is one in 500 will have a miscarriage so fingers crossed i'm not gonna be that one god is on my head so i'm not worried about that at all because it went fine the first time the first pregnancy so i believe and trust in god that it's gonna go fine the second time um the baby is fine the baby is a whole person you know has a head and legs and and, and hands and a belly and a heart rate of 165 so the test is going to take two weeks to come back the result is going to take two weeks to come back and you know that's when i'll be able to announce that i'm pregnant so i mean being that this is my second pregnancy i'm already showing and i'm only 11 weeks i was planning on announcing when i was like 20 weeks but I don't think I'm gonna um, be able to go that far because I'm already showing like my stomach is already like bulging at the navel so anyway um, that's my CVS procedure I just left the hospital and I'm craving junk food so it's 11 10 and I have a job interview um, my edges busted I need to do something about this edges because it's a video call I think but I have a job interview at 2.30 today, so I'm hoping that will go well. Today's a big day for me. Like, imagine that I get, oh, let's fix this. Imagine that I get this job and that means I'll be able to leave retail pharmacy forever. Not forever, I don't think I'll ever leave retail pharmacy, but I am 
I think I've done, I've served my time with retail pharmacy and I'm ready to move on to something else, you know, in the profession. So I'm really excited. I'm stoked about this uh, interview. I'm so happy that I even got a chance to be interviewed. Like, this is crazy. It's for a clinical pharmacist position. And the fact that I'm being interviewed, I for me, this is a win. Even if I get the job or not, that means something on my resume is standing out and they want to talk to me and see if I'll be a good fit. I hope I'm a good fit. I want to be a good fit <laughs> so bad. So we'll see how that goes. If I, if this video, like I decided to talk about this at the end of my CVS. If you hear this part about the pharmacy job, that means I got the job. If you don't hear this part, that means I did not get the job. So um, pray for me. I mean, you'll be watching this video when I already got the job, so. Just pray for me in general, for other things that I achieve, that I should achieve in life. I'm just... So, I'm gonna go to Sarik. I saw Sarik, uh, over there. I like the tear shots, so I'm gonna go get them. I've not had Sonic in so long. I'm probably gonna get milkshake, too. Yeah, I'm gonna head home. I wish I could have the opportunity to do my nails, but I don't want to push it because I want to go home and prepare for my interview. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.